Hey Primary Tree Math Rogers, this is Coach Saiful and this very good morning I have my Teo next to me and I'm ready to teach you some math. Alright, so yesterday's question was, what was the question? Let's check out the question was, Mrs. Ang prepared one liter of fruit punch. Remember it's not a punch, it's a fruit drink. Okay, she drank half of it and her daughter drank half of the rest. What fraction of the fruit punch was left? Ah... Okay, the answer for those of you who uh, want to know what's the answer, the answer is one quarter, one quarter, one over four. If you got it right, you are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay, now let me explain to you how to do this if you don't know how to do it. Remember, it doesn't matter. The the, what matters is we do the question. If we get it wrong the first time, we get it right the next time. All right, and we keep doing it over and over again until it's in our heads. Okay, so how do I do this question? First off, I always tell you step one. Everyone show me step one. Step one, raise your hand. I know you want to raise your hand. Raise your hand and say step one, step one. Good job. Step one is to draw a model. So I'm going to draw for you a model, a very ugly model here. Okay, it says, the first question, it says, she drank half of it. So what do you do? When you see the, num when you see the number half, remember, I always teach you, the bottom number is what? The total number of parts, right? Which means that there should be two parts here. But how many parts are there here? There's only one. So what do we do? We divide it into two. So we divide it into two. And Mrs. Ang prepared one liter. She drank half. That means she drank one part. So what must you do? You must do this. She drank half. You must shit the other side. And when you shit the other side, it means she drank this half. And how much is left? Another half is left. Now what did they say? They said her daughter drank half. No, did her daughter drank, drank half? No. Her daughter drank half of the rest. This is the rest. Now, let's take a look at this part. Only, only this part, okay? This is half. But what is half of this half? Ah, so half of this half is, all you have to do again is, as you can see here is, only one part. So you must divide it into how many parts? Two parts. So break it down into two again. Ah, and what must you do? She drank this half. So she's left with this part. But what is the fraction? Is the fraction 1 over 3? No! Oops, I have a call. Give me a second, yeah? I'm gonna put it down for you, okay? Because you are more important than me. Eh, you are important than the call. <laughs> okay, and what I want you to do is look at this this way. Yeah? 1, 2, 3, 4. There are actually 4 parts because this half also equals to 4 parts. Understand? Okay, let me just make it more clear to you if you don't understand this. One more time. Okay. Let's not color it this time. So, she divided into half, remember? She drank half of this and also drank half of the rest. So, you must, whatever you do on one side, you must also do on the other side. So, you have four parts. To make it more clear for you, you must take a look at this half. When someone says her daughter drank half of the rest, that means it's half times. Half what? Times half equals to 1 times 1 equals to 1. 2 times 2 equals to 4. And hence you get the answer. Get it? Alright. And let's see. Let's show you one more way so that you understand this very fully. Okay? 1 liter, that means 1 whole. You minus half. And you minus... Let me do this. Um, half times half. So half times half. I know, you're, I know you have not used brackets yet, but I'm just going to show you this way first. So it equals to. So what you must do is, the first step is you must do this part. So what's half times half? You found out it's one quarter. So one minus half minus one quarter. But wait, how do we answer this? One is actually how many parts? You know this. I know you know this, math apologies. Bottom is total four. And when you say one is a whole, it means it's four parts out of four parts. That means full. And Okay, oh no, how do we change this part into 4? We must times 2. Good job! So you times 2 below. 2 times 2 is 4. Whatever you do below, you must do on top. So 1 times 2 equals to 2. And finally, you minus another 1 quarter. And 4 minus 2 minus 1 is what? Quickly! 1 quarter. And that's how you get the answer. Good job! You are a math prodigy. Alright! So that was pretty much easy. That was easy peasy. That was a cinch. Um, what we're going to do right now is going to show you the question of the day. The question of the day is, how many eights, eights, yeah, 
are there in the sum of one quarter and half? Let me give you a little clue here, all right? Eights mean, it doesn't mean eight, 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 eight. No, it means eights, one over eight. So I want you to find out for me how many eights of this, how many, how many of this are there in the sum of this and this. That means you add this up, how many eights are there altogether? All right, I know you can do this. I know you're getting, you're getting it right. You're getting it right. You are a math prodigy, remember? And more importantly, I'm going to show you something. This is the quote of the week. Victory loves preparation. What does it mean? The more you prepare, the easier it is for you to get a victory. With that, this is Coach Seifel signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.